Hi everybody, it's Andrew from Launch27. And in this video, I wanna show you how to set up Stripe for payment processing. I just wanna give a quick background first on exactly what Stripe is. It's a credit card uh, payment processor. A lot of websites use Stripe. It's uh, quick and easy to set up. And um, they charge you 2.9% plus 30 cents per successful card charge. Uh, a big benefit of Stripe is that there's no setup monthly or hidden fees. And um, you can do a lot of the things that you can do with any other payment gateway, like uh, um, charge credit cards, Visa, American Express, MasterCard, uh, do returns. But another big thing that you can do is pre-authorized charges, aka putting a charge on hold. And the reason why you would like to do that, especially in a service business, is because before you go out to do a job, you want to make sure that the card you have on file actually has funds on it before you do the job and then you come back and find out that you can't charge the customer. So um, another thing that Stripe does is uh, it'll um, transfer your funds within a day or so after you charge the card. So um, with that said, I just want to get into it on how you can set up Stripe for payment processing. So the first thing you want to do is click on the settings icon here in your account. When you're on this general settings page, click on Stripe. And here you can see that my account is not connected. And all you have to do is click this blue connect with Stripe button. So it first takes you to a sign up page. This is for people who that don't have a Stripe account right now. If you do have an existing Stripe account, you can click on this sign in link right here. And you're taken to a sign in page where you can enter in your existing account information, blah, blah, blah. But I want to go back to that sign up page to explain what um, what information you need to fill out. So here you can see that uh, a lot of people get hung up on this part right here, the EIN or the tax ID. It's optional, so if you don't have one yet for your business, just leave that blank. Everything else is pretty straightforward. You can leave this as individual slash sole proprietor, and you're gonna need to enter in a real website URL. If you don't have one yet, you can just enter in your Launch27 account URL, which is gonna be something like yoursite.launch27.com. And you can see that it's gonna check if it's real, so make sure that you can at a minimum use this and you can change that later in your account settings. Um, a few other things, it's gonna wanna know your social security number for security verification purposes. And um, also you're gonna need a bank account. The reason why is so that they can transfer the money to you when you charge somebody. Other than that, you just need to enter in the email you wanna sign up with and the login password and then just click this authorized access to this account. That's gonna give uh, Launch27 permission to access your Stripe account so that it can charge, refund, and do all that stuff. And so once you do that, you're gonna be taken back to Launch27 like this. So here I am back in my Launch27 account. You can see that after you connect with Stripe, it's gonna have a green connected uh, label right next to it. And that means that you're ready to start charging customers. The last thing I want to show you is how to add the credit card payment option to your booking form. So just go back to the subdomain tab here. Scroll down to the booking settings and click on the credit card checkbox. Save changes. And now I'll show you what that looks like on your booking form. Okay, if you scroll down to your booking form at the bottom, you're now going to see another option for a for a credit card, and um, if you people want to pay with cash. If you have that enabled, they can just switch back and forth like that. So that's about it. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at launch27.com. Thanks.